Hi everyone, it's Kay here, back again to do um, Junk Journal July, which is hosted by Meg of Meg's Journals in collaboration with Get Messy Art. And I'll put the links below like I normally do for you to check her Meg's Journals out, uh, Meg Journals videos out, and Get Messy Art as well. So um, I'm doing number 10 thread and number 11 stamps thread. Normally I balk at this kind of thing. <laughs> Red's not my style at all. But I thought I would do what somebody suggested, that I would put some holes, but I actually punched some holes with a hole punch rather than using an awl. Because I did actually use a thinner tool to punch some holes and I realised I couldn't thread the thread, fibre, whatever you want to call it, through the holes because it's a bit fat and through the needle hole, through the eye of the needle, even though this needle's got a big eye, didn't think I'd get it through there. Anyway, so this this fiber comes from which craft you do in a, in a set called fantasy fibers. I don't know if they actually do them anymore, but um, I've had it for ages and I never, never knew what to do with them. But I thought oh, I keep forgetting to use them on my tags, which I think would be an ideal to do them. But I thought this time I would actually try and do something a little bit different by threading them through my tag here it had nothing on it so it's a perfect opportunity to put something on it to give it a bit of texture and lift and if I like it I might do it again on other, on other tags have to see because <laughs> putting this would add bulk I need to bring a bit more through it's not enough there I well, quite like the look of that already. I probably should have done a whole, whole rectangle. I wasn't sure whether I'd have enough, but I might have enough. What do you think? Or I could go back and fill in the holes that, fill in the bits that have not got anything to thread there. That might be a good idea. We could do that. Let's pull it through again. Sorry, just make sure I've got lots of thread to play with. It's nice and soft. I'd love to know how they make these sort of things. Yeah, there's a bit of thread coming through. Through there, so oh, stuck. Caught, I think. I think that's it. And there's that one there. Oop. So to go back, I'd have to go through that hole again, and I may not be able to do that because. Uh, Five, it takes up a lot of room. Let's have a look. Don't think I can. The idea was good, but <laughs> don't know if it's workable. Or if it if it is workable, it'll take too long. No, I think it's not a workable thing to do. But I could just do some more holes up here finish it off I could have gone closer to the edge couldn't I really on the, on the, down the bottom there but it's alright soothing isn't it this is soothing doing this I can see why people get um a lot of pressure out of slow stitching. I might actually try and put that through there so I can create a bit of a bow on the front. We'll see. Yeah, that one worked. So we're just going to tie a bit of a knot. 
do a bow I've got enough thread there fiber thread oh well that's different and I've got this from the mustache everything beautiful has its moment and if it's perfectly in there like that that just adds that something to this to the tag so I'll just put that glue, glue, glue that on I might find that's not straight there across the top. Might find a bit of base or something to go across the top just to add, just to finish it off. No, it's too not the right thing. Too big. Probably that one is as well. Don't have one. No, no, no ones left. All my no ones are being used up. Oh, hang on. This might be the thing. Oh, yes. Everything beautiful has its moments. So I don't know, maybe it's the wrong thing after all. Maybe you should find something green. I don't think I've got anything green, loose. Maybe we'll just use this thin, thin one. And then I'll have some around the bottom as well. Instead. How not to treat your glue. Lie on the side and let, let it leak everywhere. No, this is pretty good actually. On a hot day, I wouldn't want to do that though. <laughs> Just leak everywhere. But it would be better if I stood it up. Looks really effective, I think. Kind of surprising that something so simple could look so nice. Well, I think it looks nice. So that's my food. All my stamps, I'm going to for prompt 11. I'm going to do some stamping. I've got the empty tag here doing nothing. I'm going to do some stamps, as in stamps. And also stamps as in these kind of stamps. So I'm going to get this big one off if I can. But this was given to me in some happy now. I always find it a bit hard to get this big one off. I think I've only used it a few times because of that reason. I think I need a new grip acrylic block. Shall we use Victorian velvet? Can I use this one before? Do I need to season it? Season it means to put it, use it with um, permanent ink first. We'll see. Doesn't matter if it doesn't come out perfectly. Just want it for a background stamp anyway. So right, that comes out really nicely for a background stamp. And this one, I'll definitely use this one, I know. Okay, so I'm going to use these stamps. 
as part of the decoration as well. So let's put this one down. This came out of a scat, uh, book about stamps around the world and I found it in an op shop once. I don't tend to use my stamps enough, so it's a good opportunity to use them. Around. That it is, yes. Okay, so what kind else can I do to got this dragonfly itself? I probably should have um done that on some white paper and stamped it out and cut it out. What do you think? So where's my stamp and stare me in the face for goodness sake. So the Victorian velvet in case you'd forgotten. It's very pink, isn't it really? Probably should have done it in a different colour. Maybe black. Not too late. Huh? And I'm dragonflies, different colours, all sort of multicoloured blendies in the sun. I don't see them very often. They're so pretty when you see them. And the reason why we don't see them very often is that we live in a bit of a dry dry state. It's known, they say that we live in the dry state, in the driest um, continent in the world. So, just trying to find a, I don't think I've got a green. Yes, it looks like this should be forest moss, but it's not. It's actually um, long green. Just on top, just a little bit. like it's sort of moving now that's better I probably end up not using them all anyway that's all right but to have too many they're not enough it's the head's hard to cut out it's sort of like a, lots of circle shapes You know, like, you know how the tyres go, like on that old advert of the Mission of Me, you know, and you, if you were my age, you remember the first Ghostbusters, wasn't the Michelin Man, you know, the tyre man, the man with tyres all around him, the Michelin Man, I call him, because he was, the Michelin was a tyre maker, and he had tyres around him, and I think it was called the Michelin Man, and this head <laughs> looks exactly like that, lots of circles, one on top of another. Very hard to cut out. No, you just do the two because I've got this one here. can't see that at all now so oh you can a bit yeah do I want this third one 
I'm not sure. So skinny, you need to cut it out. Different, isn't it? Well, for me, it's different anyway. So, there's my two tags one with thread and one with stamps using postage stamps and stamps, acrylic stamps. Just needs to be. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Needs to be inked around the edges. I'm just trying to find one that's got pink on it. What I might do is grab this stamp here. Um, the one there is this one because of all the text that on there, dates and stuff on there. So I might do a bit of uh, what do they call it? Selective stamping. I don't know what they, what they call it. Just want to make sure they just cover over some of it because I don't want all of it to be used in my stamp. Just gonna get a bit of a sticky note here so I can just take that off if I can not very well I want to use the date I do what I could do is do it this way and then that way Look how that goes. You need to have a stickier stamp, okay? A uh, stickier paper, okay? <laughs> Martin should probably use Marcus masking tape, but I didn't today. Okay, yeah, that's good. I probably should have um, stamped it off before I stamped it on there so it was a bit more like this one here, but I didn't. But that's all right because we can fix that up a little bit by doing a bit of just a bit of stamp, just a bit of inking on top. Just dull it down a bit, hopefully. Not really. <laughs> I don't know, Jessica. Just, 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 just. I guess I get your words out right, okay? Oh, there we go. That'll do. That'll be fine. I really like making those too, that was fun. So that was for prompts 10 thread and 11 stamps. Next one's going to be interesting. <laughs> I'll have to look to see what I've got. Thank you so much for joining me today and um, please take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.